I walked up and I was like, you're early. He goes, so you're here. <laughs> yeah, what'd he say, one to four? What is it, 12, yeah. 18? Nailed it. Well, we have a shitload of shovels in one wheelbarrow, so I feel like the majority of the work is going to be shoveling the shit into the wheelbarrow. Yeah. And once you get it over there, it's just a matter of dumping it in. So we'll just have like one person over the planter just kind of leveling it out. And okay. like two or three people shoveling right. the shit in. Oh, so beautiful. Yeah, really beautiful. I had to get my eyebrows waxed, so I got there a little bit late. This is for inside of my house. And I tried to get it here last year, and um, the nursery told me that they couldn't get it because it's not the right zone, but I don't care. And it's gonna be an inside plant and not an outside plant. It's called a Corkia cotoneaster. Probably butchering how to say it, but I can spell it like a pro. C-O-T-O-N-E-A-S-T-E-R. This is like really my forte, is like, landscape plants and decorative plants and statement plants. But I'm also very excited to eat all the stuff we grow this year. Guys, love you. I think it was wonderful sitting here talking to you, but I got shit to do. Well, there's purple. These are asparagus too? Yeah, yeah. they're purple asparagus. So these are gonna I turn into this? Said that. Yeah. Get it, get it, get it, get it. Get it. I was not saying that. You want to go yeah. I'm just trying to have a good time. Me too. <laughs> well, the good news is, is there's lots of planting space, and that was by design because I knew that there was going to be disagreements about what was going in the earth. <laughs> um, do this white you, they said, I read so that bell peppers cool. were, it said where they were. They have to have bell peppers. Yeah. It looks like it. Right, right. It definitely looks like yeah. it. Eggplant and celery are fucking gross and I'm not eating it and it's not going in my planners. But Chloe loves celery, so I don't know how to approach this. Celery, did you already get it? No, I didn't. I love celery. I like celery with peanut butter. Fuck celery. Celery and peanut butter. Celery is delicious. Fuck celery. Look it. I don't even get it one, I get all. Oh my god. Here. No one touches the eggplant. Eggplant's not going in. I can deal with the celery. There is no eggplant going anywhere near my house. It's the one food I can't handle. And Acacia the other day said something like, have, have, have you ever grown eggplant? And I said, ah, nope, don't say that word in my house. It's not happening. So there's for sure no eggplant going in. Fuck eggplant. It's so pretty. Punk ass eggplant. <laughs> We made a big list and since there's so many of us in this project, you know, we all have our things that we like, you know, if it was just my garden, I'd be like, this is what I want to eat and that's what I grow. So I think we're going to have a very wide variety. Um, I know, I don't really like tomatoes, but I know we're growing tomatoes. I'd really like to grow some tomatoes. Um, I had this like one, like life changing experience with tomatoes where I was uh, on a little... <laughs> Seriously, it was like, <laughs> I was in Rhode Island for this like summer program and we went on a little adventure um, to this little swimming hole and there was a small, I guess it was a farm. It was just like a really small plot of land where there was a little farm store and they had some livestock there too. So, so we went in and we did like the little, get a little cone of seed or whatever and feed the livestock thing. And then we went into the farm store and I got some tomatoes from there and they were literally the most amazing things I've ever eaten in my life, probably, at least in terms of vegetables. I could taste the difference. Um, and I don't think I've ever had tomatoes grown by like anyone I know. I've only gotten them from the grocery store. Other than those where those were like definitely 
straight from the farm. Yeah. <laughs> and I would like to have that experience again. So I'm excited for tomatoes. Um, I'm excited for root vegetables. I don't know if we're doing root vegetables, but. Root vegetables! Root vegetables! Root vegetables! <laughs> uh, <laughs> so. Yeah, I love root vegetables. So that will be really fun because I think that actually pulling them out of the ground is gonna be really cool. So while I like, I'm excited to see things grow quickly, I'm also really excited to not see things grow and then pull it out and be like, whoa, like, how did that happen? I don't get it. So they grew underground and then you pluck them and there was babies attached to the cabbage? That's so weird. Um, so that's what I'm excited for. Um, yeah, I also just really love herbs, so I'd love to have a ton of fresh herbs to use. I think the girls like some of the root vegetables, so we're gonna do some beets and maybe turnips, or I forget what they wanted there. I'm just really most excited about the beets and the radish. I don't know what it is with my thing with things that grow underground, but I love rat radish is like to die for. Uh, I talked about doing some beans. I did pole beans last year, which was really cool because you don't need a lot of space because I just actually propped some bamboo shoots up against the back like a fence and they just grew up the fence like that. Um, so that's a, a nice way, uh, if you don't have a lot of space, something you can grow that just grows straight up, you know? This is what I feel confident about. Tomatoes and peppers, cucumbers, Brussels sprouts, peas and lettuces. Lettuce eye. <laughs> It's octopus, octopi, lettuce, but it's not a U.S. Let I, <laughs> Jedi, let us turn up the beat. <laughs> okay, I'm done. <laughs> God damn it. I've been hanging out with Chloe too much, man. So that's what I have on my list. That's what I'm fucking growing. <laughs> and I did my research. I have a plan. They can fight me for their spot in the garden. Let us turn up the beat. plant things from seed. I've never planted anything from seed in my life. That's terrifying to me, but it looks like we can do beets, gold and red, carrots, kale, green beans, or any beans, radishes, and potatoes from seed. That's so scary to me, because then I asked Ashley, so how many seeds do you put, like, I'm assuming you dig like a little hole when you put your seeds in, and I said to her like, how many seeds do you put in the hole? And she goes, just one. And I said, and you've just bank on that seed to like grow and survive and thrive? And then she said, if you put three in and they all plant, that's a whole nother problem. But that had just never even crossed my mind because I've never grown anything from seed. So I'm sitting here like, we're gonna have a whole planter filled with seed and we just are hoping for the best. Like that's so scary to me. But I guess that's how every plant ever is started is from a seed, like in all the little, plants we're gonna buy are gonna be from seeds, so. I think our plan is to, we have two planter boxes, so we're gonna try to do one of them from seed and one of them from plant, kind of just experiment. Um, this is the biggest garden we've all done here in Reno together, so we're gonna, it's gonna be a very big learning process for all of us, so I think that'll be really cool to see how both of those produce and what works and what doesn't. That's going in the ground. I feel like that mm -hmm. planter's way bigger than what we have. She mentioned Brussels sprouts. I said that I didn't have success with them, but we tried. Let's try them. Everyone needs a pair.
where you're wrong. <laughs> I think you don't realize as you look at the seed packets and tells you how far to space everything out, um, it actually can take up a lot of room. Like if we want to do summer squash, like three plants might take up like half a planter, you know, because those get really big. So things like that we need to really think about. Okay, so the cool thing about this website was that um, everything's to scale. So as I'm like putting in the rows, that's actually how many beets you'll get in like three feet. And like, so see how much the broccoli takes up. So you may not want to put a ton. Like you put thing. in the measurements and everything? We, I what put crazy. is that? What website? Uh, this is called growveg.com. Growveg.com. I like your website. That is so yeah, I'll put it back, cool. but I'm just showing. So like, so say here's cabbage. So I even put in like our demographic, so it'll tell us all the information about cabbage in Reno. Yeah, That's it's pretty cool. That's the coolest cool. thing I've ever seen. You're a garden designer. There are studies that show that when you plant a variety of different species together that there's like a lower incidence of pests and disease. So that's, you know, a vote of confidence for planting a bunch of different things together instead of just monocropping. You want to plant as much as you can in as small of a space as like you have, but there are definitely some plants that don't do well together. So I guess I'll try to make sure that we don't do that, but I'm sure that Ashley knows a thing or two about that already. <laughs> Eggplants, everyone's favorite. Put it, let's put it's kind of funny to think of it as like we're city planners and we have to now plan our city in a way that brings peace and prosperity to the whole garden instead of having plants that bully each other so because it happens. Yeah. They hoard resources, they take all the sun from other plants, so we have to avoid that. <laughs>